Welcome back to another super quick Photoshop tutorial where we're gonna put an image in text and then kind of make it look 3D. So the first thing we need is an image that we're gonna cut the text out of and then an image we're gonna use in the background. Step number one is gonna be simply to make our text. So make a large box. I'm gonna write image in text as mine. You can write whatever you want, obviously. Just make sure to use a fairly fat font and make sure it covers most of the space on here. If your characters are too close to each other or they're overlapping once you make them bigger, just go into this up top here, this A character. And this is your font size. This is your spacing. So if I went to, let's say 600, now my text would be overlapping there. So this moves it up or down. This is gonna move it. Uh, if we click this drop down, like minus 100 is gonna squeeze them together. And obviously 100 is gonna separate them. So just mess around in here until you get something that looks good. Step number two is going to be simply to line the text up over the image where you want. And then all we're going to do is take our second layer, like our top one, move it above that text. Then we're going to right click on it over here and select create clipping mask. So there you go. The image is already in the text. But just so you know, if you click and try to move the text, you're actually going to be moving the image behind. So line it up where you want it. And then to move the text and the image, Go over here, hold control, and click on this layer as well. And then you can move the text and the image in it to wherever you want. So technically, that's the end of the tutorial, but we're also going to make it look kind of 3D. So to do that, we're going to go over to our text layer, right click, and go up to the top and select blending options. In there, just click off bevel and emboss, not the little, just the little box, like actually click on the words bevel and emboss. And you can see kind of the settings that I already used in here. So I used inner bevel, chisel hard, my depth was fairly high, direction up, size about eight, and we could probably soften it, you know, a little bit as well. And down here, all I did was I put opacity around 50%. If you go too high up, then there's too much of a glow on the edge and too low just kind of takes it all away. So somewhere around the middle. And then I put my opacity right up to the top. Uh, when you take it away, then it just kind of ruins the effect. So crank that all the way up. And oh, for highlight mode, screen and shadow mode, multiply. It should be those already. And then just click OK. Then we're going to go over to our layers again, and we're going to make sure that both of these are selected. So click on one and then hold control and click on the other one. Then we're going to duplicate that. So just hold control and J and we're going to make a copy. And then with the copy layer selected, you're going to go over to layer and you're going to go merge layers or control E. That makes a cutout copy of what we already had. And we're actually going to make a bunch of those. So let's make a folder and just call it the copy and we're going to take that layer and we're going to move it into that folder. Then all we're going to do is go control J and then on your arrow keys, you're going to go up and to the right. Then you're going to go control J and then you're going to go up and to the right. And then just do that as many times as you need until you get the look that you want. Then we're just going to click on the top one of these copies, scroll down and hold shift and click on the bottom one, and then we're gonna go Control E again to merge all those into one. Then we're gonna click the eyeball of our original picture layer here and that text. We don't need it anymore because now all of these are just one piece together. Then all you have to do is Control T to resize and place it where you want it. At this point, we're ready to add our final touches. So let's go over to our main 3D layer. Let's right click. Go up to blending options again and this time go down to drop shadow you can mess around with whatever you want in here to get something that looks decent back there but don't worry about it too much and then click ok now we have the drop shadow back here but we want to separate it from the layer so let's right click on drop shadow and go to create layer then click ok that makes its own layer right here for the shadow that we can mess with the first thing we're going to do with the shadow is transform it so Control t and we're just going to make sure that this little chain thing is not checked. So when you check it, the box, the shadow will change uniformly. So we don't want that. We want to uncheck it so that we can squish it. And then all we're going to do is squish it to a point and then line it up where we want it. Now, if you notice that the further I move this away, then the more that the text looks like it's kind of floating in air. If you line it up too perfect, it's just gonna look like a shadow behind it, like the words are sitting on the ground, but they're not. So kind of separate them a little bit like that. When you're done, just click check. 
Next, we have to change the perspective of the shadow. So we're gonna go up to Edit, Transform, and go to Perspective, and just grab these corners, and this allows us to kind of stretch it so it looks like it's heading down the road as well, kind of the same angles as the road is. Once you have the look that you want, just click the check mark and then head over to Filter, go down to Blur, and go over to Gaussian Blur. In here, just use this slider to define how you want your shadow to look. So most of the time you don't want it this kind of defined, so find a spot that looks the most natural and click OK. And then one more thing you can do to your shadow to make it look good is go over to Opacity and use this slider to kind of refine the look that you want. And then last but not least, we're gonna mess with our background by adding some image adjustments. So this little half circle thing here, click on that. I'm gonna start with hue saturation and just kind of take away some lightness a little bit. Then I'm gonna add a levels and kind of mess around with these until I add a little bit more contrast to the background to make my text pop even more. So there you go. That's how you use Photoshop to create a fairly simple 3D image in text effect. Yeah.